Boost Car Sponsor, car number 33 out of Claremont, New Hampshire. That is Aaron Aiken. Fifth on the grid, car number 12, that is Dakota Ritter. Then it is car number 21, that's Riley Martin. Jameson Ritter grids next in car number two. Then it is Claremont Speedway regular Carlos Grenier in car number one. Maggie Clark grids next in car number 27. Then it's the 12 of Daryl Quinlan. Noah McGrath is in car number 30X. Then it's the 54 of Jeff Turcott. Addie McDaniel making her first career star speedway start behind the wheel of car number 56. Then it's the 99, Jeremiah Sargent. And rounding out the grid in his first career start in car number 35, that is Sean Nadeau. Driver's Choice Pace Truck going to pull off the speedway. That is our sponsor for our King and Queen series. It's a three-race series here to crown the king or the queen in the pure stocks and the two-to-go show six shooters. They have their round one later on in the racing program. But right now, it's round number one for the MLM Diagnostics Pure Stocks. 30 laps the distance. George Riley Jr., Gage Osborne going to lead him down to Chief Starter Scotty Frazier's Green. Good even start, green flag in the air. Pure stock, king or queen series. Round number one is underway. George Riley Jr. gets the jump. Maggie Clark gets into the two of Jamison Ritter, sends him for the spin cycle. Doesn't look like he's gonna refire the two car in time and the caution flag will fly. Maggie Clark in the 27 will go to the rear of the field. Drivers' Choice Sponsorship King and Queen Series round number one. One lap in the record books, 29 laps still remain for your leader, George Riley Jr. Gage Osborne to his outside. Jenkins grids third, Aaron Aiken fourth, and fifth is Dakota Ritter in car number 12. Green flag back in the air. MLM Diagnostics Pure Stock Series round number one is back underway. Riley Jr. with another great jump. Gage Osborne follows him through. Erin Aiken working the outside on Jenkins. She'll go to the third spot down the back straight away. Riley Martin turning some heads here in the early goings in car number 21 in his second season behind the wheel of a Pure Stock. He's right up inside the top five in car 21. Up front, George Riley Jr. feeling some heavy pressure from the 55 of Gage Osborne. Osborne in that 55 car went at it all year long last year with George Riley Jr. George Riley Jr. came out on top in the championship standings. Osborne trying to change that here in 2022. Battle for fourth, Riley Martin on the move in car 21. Riley Martin down on eight Jenkins, he'll take the fourth spot away. Best career run thus far for the 21 O'Reilly Martin, a graduate of our Star Trooper youth program here at the Star Speedway. He's up into the fourth spot now. <laughs> Top two have broken away. Aaron Aiken all alone in the third spot. Keep an eye on that one car of Carlos Grenier. Grenier, a regular at the Claremont Motorsports Park up in Claremont, New Hampshire on Friday nights. Down to have some fun in the King and Queen Driver's Choice Series here. And he's up inside the top five. Up front, Gage Osborne shadowing the 34 of George Riley Jr. Riley Jr. feeling the pressure from Osborne. Slips up a little bit that time in turns three and four. And Osborne is ready to pounce in car number 55. Battle for the four spot. Carlos Grenier is on the move. Dives to the bottom side of Riley Martin. Martin has to open up the bottom side. Move Carlos Grenier up to the four spot now. Dakota Ritter on the move in car number 12. She gets to the bottom side on Jenkins in the 95. Ritter trying to get back up inside the top five. Addie McDaniel is on the move. She started deep in this one in car number 56. McDaniel trying to follow Dakota Ritter down to the bottom side of Jenkins. Ritter clears the 95. McDaniel next in line and Addie McDaniel will clear the 95. McDaniel now going to work on the back bumper of the 12 of Dakota Ritter. Lap traffic dead ahead of your leaders now. Sean Nadeau will be the first car to go a lap down in car number 35. 
moves to the top side of the racing surface, gives your leaders plenty of running room as Gage Osborne continues to shadow the 34 of George Riley Jr. Good battle going on for the top spot. All race long thus far, George Riley Jr. has got a mirror full of the rampage. Gage Osborne as lap traffic starts to get a little thicker. Jeremiah Sargent next to go a lap down in car number 99. Gage Osborne has just been hot glued to the back bumper of George Riley Jr. Gets into him a little that time down the front straight away. Osborne had to get on the binders, let the 34 of Riley correct that car, and they go right back to work down the back straight away. Jeff Turcott next in line. Addy McDaniel is on the move, got by the 12 of Ritter. Now she's by the 21 of Martin and into the fifth spot in car number 56. Addy McDaniel would love nothing more than a caution right now. Contact for the lead. It's getting hot and heavy up front between the 34 of George Riley Jr. and the 55 of Osborne. Riley Jr. put some distance between himself after that last bit of contact between him and, and the 55 of Osborne. Lap traffic starting to be a factor in this one. Quinlan next in line in car number 12 to go a lap down. Then it's the 30X of McGrath. Aaron Aiken's been unable to make up any ground on Gage Osborne and George Riley Jr. as they've battled all race long for that top spot. Riley Jr. gets to the outside and around the 12 of Daryl Quinlan. Osborne gonna follow him around the outside in car 55. McGrath next in line to go a lap down. Field stretched out all the way around the Star Speedway right now. George Riley Jr. gets to the bottom side of the 30 of McGrath. Halfway home at the line this time by 15 down, 15 to go for your defending champion George Riley Jr. in car number 34. Fifth spot, Addie McDaniel, only about a straightaway ahead of your leaders right now as they're setting a torrid pace between George Riley Jr. and the 34 and the 55 of Osborne. Osborne trying to reel George Riley Jr. back in. He's still got plenty of time to do it. 14 laps still remain in tonight's 30 lap driver's choice. King of the Pierce Stocks. Heavy lap traffic up in front of your leaders. Early front runner Riley Martin next to a lap down and Osborne has caught the 34 at George Riley Jr. once again. Drivers battling for position right now in front of your leaders. Dakota Ritter in the 12 and the 27 of Maggie Clark. This could get interesting, folks. Lap traffic is hot and heavy up in front of your leader. George Riley Jr. and Gage Osborne has caught his back bumper once again. Where are they gonna go now? Ritter goes up the racetrack. Osborne peeks to the bottom side, down the back straight away. George Riley Jr. made the mistake and Gage Osborne filled the hole. Oh, Osborne into the 99 of Sargent. Gage Osborne got into the 99 of Sargent. Caution flag on the speedway for the debris from the 99 of Sargent. The 33, the 12 of Dakota Ritter having a nice run in the fourth spot. And Jamison Ritter all the way up to fifth right now in car number two. Go. 
One to go at the line this time by for the Rampage, Gage Osborne, who was all over George Riley Jr. And then lap traffic, Riley went high. Osborne made the dart to the bottom side. Carlos Grenier is in the fifth spot in the one car, not Jamison Ritter in the two. Green flag back in the air. Pierre Stocks back on the way. George Riley Jr. trying to muscle the outside groove. George Riley, oh, Carlos Grenier turns the 12 of Dakota Ritter around on the back straightaway. She's going to keep it rolling for the moment. We're going to stay green. Osborne had the spot at the line. Aaron Aiken waiting there in the wind in car 33. Down the back straightaway. Osborne clears the 34 of George Riley Jr. Riley falls in line. Gets a shot from the 33. Aaron Aiken. Gage Osborne trying to run away and hide as now George Riley Jr. going to have to deal with the 33. Aaron Aiken who's in the third spot. Carlos Grenier all alone in the fourth spot. Jamison Ritter runs fifth in car number two. Lap starting to tick away, 23 down, seven to go. George Riley Jr. beginning to overdrive. Car number 34, slip sliding through turns three and four that time. Aaron Aiken just can't quite get to the back bumper on George Riley Jr. Dakota Ritter down pit road, tough break for the youngster in car number 12. George Riley Jr. has his hands full in car number 34 as Gage Osborne's trying to open up the advantage. This time by Chief Starter Scotty Frazier going to have five fingers in the air. Five laps remain in Driver's Choice King and Queen Series. Round number one, Gage Osborne leads the way. Five to go at the line. Riley Martin and the 12 of Quinlan make a little bit of contact further back in the pack. Bounce off each other through turns three and four. They're still racing for position. George Riley Jr. is closing the gap just a little bit here in the closing stages of this one. He has it to about a car length now. George Riley Jr. driving the wheels off car 34. About a car length difference down the back straightaway. Does Riley Jr. have anything left in the tank? Lap traffic up ahead of your leader. It's the 99 of Jeremiah Sargent set to go another lap down. This could get interesting. Three laps remain at the line. George Riley Jr. is within striking distance down the back straightaway. Gage Osborne goes to the outside on Sargent. Two laps to go at the line for Ga Gage Osborne in car 55. And George Riley Jr. is there. Two to go at the line. George Riley Jr. has caught the back bumper of Gage Osborne down the back chute. Clear racetrack. I don't believe they'll catch the 54 at Turcotte. White flag in the air. Final trip around. Riley's bobbles a little bit. White flag in the air for Osborne. Into turn number one and out of two. Down the back straight away for the final time. They might catch the 54 of Turcotte, but I don't think it's going to matter. Checkered flag in the air. Your driver's choice, King and Queen Series. Round number one winner, Gage. The Rampage, Osborne. Second to George Riley Jr. Third to Aaron Aiken. Fourth will go to Carlos Grenier. And fifth will go to Jamison Ritter in the two. We'll head trackside. All right, down here in Driver's Choice.
King and Queen Series round number one and an exciting 30 lap main event between one and two in points last year. They put on a great show throughout the 30 lap main event. Getting his picture taken with our track photographer. It's Bob Hayes tonight, not Rich. Rich is at a wedding, like I said. All right, he's out of the car. He can hear you. If you're a stock winner, Gage, the Rampage Osborne. Well, Gage, you showed that Volkswagen power once again. You and George raced all year long, hard. And on night number one, what a show you guys put on. I knew the lap traffic was going to get interesting. You made the move to the bottom side, and the lap car just didn't quite get out of the way, and you score the victory here tonight. Yeah, holy cow. Uh, me and George had a good race day at Bumper to Bumper for over half the race. Uh, can't thank Billy enough. Uh, he worked his ass off last night uh, to get this thing going again. And uh, big thanks to Bampa, my mom, Steve, Joe, Sandra, Callie, you, other Billy. Big thanks for doing my air pressures and GoPro. Appreciate it. Uh, big thanks to Papora Excavation, uh, Profab, Kidon's One Short Track Racing Videos, Justin's Roofing, and uh, Rusty Stowing. All right, your winner in round number one is Gage the Rampage Osborne. And coming home in the second spot here tonight, your defending champion, car number 34, George Riley Jr. Well, George, he was the beneficiary of that lap traffic, and unfortunately for you, they went up the racetrack and you were forced to go up there too, but still a strong start in your pursuit to defend your title from last year. You know, I thought the top side would have been the way to go, but definitely underneath was a little bit better, I guess. But uh, great run. Me and Gage always run good together. Congratulations to Aaron Aiken, too, on our third place. Uh, congratulations to him on his first first win here today in this season. Uh, I gotta thank K Cobb Plumbing and Heating, Frank's Repair Service, Pete Sewer Service, Pelletier Seal Coating, Moody's Towing, Star Speedway, George Brown, and my Uncle Steve, and my, and my family. <laughs> All right, second spot here tonight, George Riley Jr. in car number 34. And closing out our podium here tonight, car number 33, Claremont, New Hampshire's Aaron Aiken comes home in the third spot. Well, Aaron, at 33, just didn't quite have enough to stick with the top two, but still a solid start to your 2022 campaign with us here at Star. Yeah, we just need some new tires, I guess, to keep up with those guys we're running last year's bank. So, um, no, it was a good race. It's good to see the, the regulars here on top of the driver's choice uh, podium. Um, i got to thank my sponsors, McGee Family Used Cars, Little Webb's Race Parts, Adaptive Driving Experience, uh, Aiken Motorsports, Roughing Fenders Podcast, and all the fans that came out. Thanks, guys. All right, third spot here tonight, Aaron Aiken in car number 33. Kate Cobb, Slingshot main event up next. <laughs> 